In the wild, we expect to observe animals engage in a variety of behaviors, including hunting, foraging, social interaction, and territorial defense, all of which are critical for survival. However, domesticated animals share biological and behavioral qualities with wild animals, such as the need for food, water, and shelter, as well as the need to protect themselves from predators and care for their progeny. While each species has unique behaviors and adaptations to its habitat, these stories explore the animal kingdom's wild, unruly, and downright unpredictable side. From daring exploits to ingenious shenanigans and missions of mischief, these furry, feather, and scaled troublemakers demonstrate that animals are truly the world's greatest mischief makers. Munchie's Mishap Stuck in a high school vending machine On August 12, 2019, the Volusia County Sheriff's Department received an odd complaint at Pine Ridge High School in Deltona, Florida. A furry burglar had been captured red-handed inside a vending machine. Unfortunately, despite knowing just where to obtain his favorite goodies, the raccoon was trapped inside the vending machine and unable to escape. When authorities arrived, they discovered the masked bandit stuck between Hare's potato chips and Welch's fruit snacks. The sheriff's office contacted animal control, and with the help of a deputy, an animal control officer, and a high school custodian, the vending machine was loaded onto a dolly and rolled outside in a mission of emancipation. While it was unclear whether the raccoon received any goodies as a result of the ordeal, the Volusia County Sheriff's Office later released a video of the encounter, demonstrating that the woodland creature escaped safely and was off to his next adventure. Concert Crusader One epic escape to rock out with Metallica Metallica's M72 World Tour drew almost 8,000 fans to Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, California on August 25, 2023, breaking the venue's single-show attendance record. Despite the record-breaking crowd, the band's concert that night featured a surprise four-legged guest, Storm and Akita Shepard mix. Storm was found by concert goers sitting on a seat inside the stadium, where she lingered for hours during the show. She was then transported to a local shelter under the idea that her owner had abandoned her at the concert. The Animal Hope and Wellness Foundation then posted about Storm on Facebook in the hopes of finding her a foster home and a photo of her enjoying the performance went viral. Storm, on the other hand, already had a family and the band later took to social media to clarify that Storm had snuck out of her home, which was near to Sophie Stadium. Storm's owners, Kathy Villa and Arabeth Hurtado, said they had no idea the dog had left the house, let alone gone to a performance. They only realized what had happened after seeing a photo of her on social media. Fortunately, Storm was reunited with her family in the following day. Flightless Fugitive, Mimu the Emu's 20-mile adventure. Mimu the Emu and his wife, Mimi, live on Harry McKinney's family farm in Harriman, Tennessee, which spans 40 acres, 16 hectares. However, on April 12, 2023, personnel were logging on a nearby ridge, which spooked Mimu. So the bird took off, hopping over the 7-foot, 2.1-meter fence that surrounded his area. McKinney noticed Mimu running through the property's front meadow, but because the bird was traveling at around 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour, he decided to jump in his vehicle and pursue the flightless fugitive. McKinney attempted to follow Mimu, but quickly lost sight of him. Nearby residents also attempted to assist McKinney in locating Mimu. But when those efforts failed, he took to social media, urging users to share if they saw the Emu. Private comments from social media users and inquiries to local police about sightings helped police and volunteer firemen track Mimu down. After seven hours and a 20-mile, 32-kilometer chase, officers were able to corner Mimu near a Victorian mansion in downtown that was surrounded by hedges. When Mimu was trapped, McKinney was called in to put an end to the pursuit for good. McKinney whistled to get the bird's attention and made a slip lead with a dog leash from inside his truck, which he placed around Mimu's neck before leading him back to the truck. McKinney returned to Mimu's enclosure and stated that the seven-foot fence had been upgraded to a nine-foot fence, 2.7 meters, in order to prevent another escape.